this video, we're going to set up a restaurant website using A12 Web Design's 10 minute restaurant package. You can see that you'll end up with a menu, events, reservations, frequently asked questions, and contact us page, as well as a home page where you can access some of those features as well. To get started, click on the link to the A12 Web Design page that we've linked to in the video description. Click on the Get the Plugin link, and then head over to your WordPress website. Click on Add New, and then Upload Plugin, where you select the file that you just downloaded. Before getting started with this, obviously you should have a WordPress website. Uh, it should be a new site, so with no content, because this website package will overwrite most of your content. Once the plugin has finished uploading, click on the Activate button. When you click on the Activate button, you'll be adding three themes and a number of important plugins for any restaurant website to your site. Um, and all of that goes on in the background without you having to do anything manually. Next, there's a short introduction screen where you see all the steps that we're going to go through in this walkthrough. So first up, it's theme setup. On this page, we're going to choose from one of three themes that are geared towards restaurants. Um, and you can also select colors for your headings, text, background color, or foreground colors. Once you've done that, click on the Save and Continue button. The next step in the process is where we're going to set our page content. You'll see that pop up in just a second. Um, so there's a number of required pages for every restaurant, a menu, reservations, frequently asked questions, and contact us. There's also a couple of optional pages, so we're going to unclick the checkbox beside the About Us, and then we won't have an About Us page. You can also edit the content for any of your pages here. Um, you do that using the visual text editor, it's just like any kind of uh, you know, Microsoft Word or any other text editor. Once you've got the content the way you want, click on the Save and Continue button. This next step's the super important one for every restaurant. Um, this page is where we're going to create our restaurant menu that's posted to our website. So first off, we're going to start by creating restaurant menu sections. So sections are things like sides, uh, main dishes, desserts, drinks. Uh, it really depends on your restaurant, but you probably already have a menu, so you, basically you're just using a similar format, but online so people are able to find it more easily. So. Every time you put in a section name, a se section description, and then you click on the Add Section button and you should see it pop up in the Created Sections. After that, we're going to create menu items. So um, these are individual dishes off your menu. For the first one here, we're you know adding french fries to our menu. We go, we put in the name, you select an image for it. Once it finishes uploading, you click on the Choose Image button. And then you can add a description, uh, select the section it goes in, and add a price. You can do this as many times as you need to for the different items on your menu. Um, and then every time you're finished, click on the Add Item button, and you should see that item pop up underneath. We're going to speed up the video a little bit here, um, just while we create a few more menu items. And then we'll move on after that to the reservation section. Next, we're going to be working on our reservations page. So we've already had a page created automatically for us, so we can skip the first section. Next, um, create booking schedule. So this is where you set your restaurant's hours when your restaurants can be available for reservations. So we're going to set it from 12 to 9 p.m. And then once we've done that, click on Save Schedule. You should get a message that says Schedule has been saved. And then we can set a number of key options, um, like party size, how early people can book, and how late they can book. So once you're done that, click on the Save Options button, and you should also get another message. Uh, and then click on Save and Continue to move on to the FAQs section. So FAQs, or Frequently Asked Questions, are questions that you get a lot as a restaurant owner. Um, 
you know, things like, do you have any gluten-free options? Uh, how big a group can I make a reservation for? Do you guys do private events? Um, things like that. Those are all great FAQ questions. So to get started, um, we're going to create FAQ categories. So we'll create an events category, um, and that's going to be related to people hosting an event at your restaurant. So our first question is, what is the capacity of your venue? Um, and then you can put in an answer to that. You know, uh, but these are very specific to your restaurant. You've got a much better idea of what kind of questions you get asked on a daily or weekly basis than uh, anyone else does. So you create a few categories for your FAQs just to help organize them so people can find the answers that they're looking for. Um, once you're done that, click on the add category button and then click on the, you know, put in a question, put in an answer, select the right category, click on add FAQ and then, you know, do that as many times as you need to and then click on the save and continue button once you're done with that. All right, and so then we've got the last step in our setup process. We're gonna set up our contact form. So it comes with a number of fields already, name, email, subject, uh, comment, or message. We're gonna change subject to question. Um, you can drag and drop to reorder it. You know, this is really, you can create any kind of contact form you want. And then once we're done with that, you're gonna click on the save and finish setup button. All right, and so at that point, we're finished with the main setup process. Those are all the required steps. Um, this screen is going to show you a number of optional steps. Um, you know, your site should already look pretty good before that, um, and now you can configure some optional things. So we've got your menu, your events, uh, reservations, frequently asked questions, all the stuff that we've gone, uh, we've set the content for, and we've set the, you know, the different options, the schedules, and the content. Um, you can click through your pages, see how they look, or once you're done with that, we can go back and we can look at some of the optional steps there. So just as an example, we're gonna edit that testimonial. Um, so click on the testimonial one button, and then you can see the testimonial that the boilerplate content that's already there. Uh, we can edit the name of the person who gave the testimonial and then edit the testimonial content below. Um, testimonials are a great way to help make customers feel more secure before going to your restaurant. So if you haven't got them, you know, feel free to ask your customers for some. Uh, they're really a great marketing tool. Once you're done adding in your content, you're going to click on the update button in the top right corner. And then we'll go back to the home page and we can see that the content has now been updated to what we put in in that testimonial section. We're also going to make one last change that's not in the walkthrough at all. Um, so we're going to create an ordering section to our website. So uh, because of everything that's going on right now with the pandemic, most restaurants are looking to offer some kind of ordering service through their website. And a lot of the ones out there you know, uh, can be kind of pricey. So if you just want to add orders that people come and pick up from your restaurant, uh, you can go to menu, settings, and then click on the ordering tab. So you're gonna toggle on the enable ordering button and then go down to the scheduling, click on add new scheduling rule, uh, put in your hours, and then click at the bottom there, save changes. Now, once you do that, you should be able to go to your menu section and see an add to cart button. Um, that's not there. So first thing to check for there is, did we put in hours? Are we currently in the ordering hours? And so we're going to refresh the page and you can see that our ordering hours are 12 to 2. It's currently 11 o'clock. So we're going to have to change our hours if we want to see that working. So we'll switch it to 11 then click on save changes. So now we go back and still nothing. Okay, so one second. So I actually had to pause the recording there just to figure out what was going wrong. Um, so our time zone setting wasn't correct. To change that, go to settings general, um, select the time zone you're in. So we're in uh, on Toronto's time zone. Once you select that, click save changes. And now with the correct time zone, 
We're gonna refresh the page and you can see the add to cart button pops up. So make sure your time zone setting is correct if your menu is not showing up with an ordering option. 